In all honesty, I'm tired of notes. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Yo, Doug. Uh, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I'm only doing this video to quickly go over this and then do my summons. <laughs> That's all we're all doing today. That's it. That's it. Don't ask me for nothing else. So, like I said, I just kind of want to quickly go over the notes uh, and then just go into the summons. I, I've been trying to find a, a where to put the summons, like to finish off the banner, but it's kind of hard to finish off the banner because everything I've been doing has been somewhat long, so it is what it is. But most importantly, this video, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I want to get out of here. <laughs> I don't like it here. I want to get out of here. So uh, Yao is going to be the next one coming into the thing after the update all the way up into the 19th. As you guys know, she's going to be uh, Blue Fake Core, as well, as you guys know, but as you guys have assumed and have been correct, she's going to be Blue Fake Core. Uh, I fucking hate it so bad. But since you are getting uh, the free, I, I, I still can't do it. They also let you know here who is actually going to be affected by her stuff. And I think these are a decent amount. You know, you got Yao and you can read it, so I'm not going to. And yeah, she has her puffer thing. I will never summon for equipments, though these things look all nice. I don't know. I just wish that there was a better system for it. Uh, broken images. Oh no, that can't do. Bro, did you see these wallpapers? Oh, D. That looks crazy. This is not even what Valentina's is really wearing, and neither with Bernadette. This one's nice. Yao is in the back. Classic Iris. Have Yao chilling, and then this one. This one I like is cool. I actually think I would have preferred Iris in this outfit. Her like super half nakedness is just like eh. But I feel like having her with a little, with a little cool veal, I think I like it. I don't know, I just prefer it. All right, so the core memory update pretty much is the thing, uh, this is small and I really wish I could, I'd rather show it in game. But they're pretty much showing that you can utilize your own if you have and then like, or someone else's, like either in your friends list or in your air squadron. And you can use their units to pretty much buff up the combat readiness and stuff like that. You can see a little bit better here. So like you can kind of see it like you know this person has like the iris like fake core combat power attack hp defense and it's pretty cool you know like so that's kind of the system is looks like it's just one of those systems where you just have something and it benefits and the more you have it and the more fusions and all that other lovely fun stuff the stronger the buff a 30 percent attack 30 percent defense this could be uh this could get out of control but i feel like you really wouldn't see this too much uh Luckily, it doesn't affect attack speed, which I think is a little bit more important than attack, defense, and health, but these things obviously could be huge. I'm not exactly sure if it's only for these participating units or it's a buff throughout your entirety of your account. I think that's the only thing that I don't know. A core memory system can receive additional buffs if they have a specific fake core. You can enhance the hero's abilities by applying your fake cores or... It looks like it's just for those characters, so these characters will just be stronger. So haha, I didn't get Deacus. I gotta, I gotta have a homie that has Deacus, right? So as you see here, this, this picture is messed up, but this one kind of shows like how it goes down. This person is looking to get Bathory, and they need to have Rara and Scout Points. The only thing that I don't know how this works is that we don't know if it's a chance. I think that's the only thing. I don't know if this is a chance for it to happen. Is it guaranteed? You know, sometimes they'll be like, oh, you do all this stuff and it doesn't matter. This one is 30,000. And as you can see, this is 120, this one's 80. Uh, the rares probably are lower than that. It's probably based on the relative, like how close a relationship that the character has with this character. They also probably can add in faded into there, I'm sure. You know, it looks like a decent system, but I'm just kind of curious of like how or why they're giving you ability to get a general. I think that it's going to be huge. People are going to have to increase their inventory because if, unless you can do this progressively, and I mean progressively as in, let's say he takes this whole front row, 240, 240, it's 480. Can you just put that into it and then come back and do it later and just do it per week? Or do you have to have all these characters available at once and then do the system? Obviously, the latter would mean that you'd have to increase your your inventory, which is going to cost you Zez, and then you'll be able to do this. But it looks like that would be a pretty worthy sacrifice you know if you were to ask me that would be a worthy sacrifice you increase your hero inventory and then math mathematical all this nonsense and then get a general like i just got battery 
I have Frankie, but this would be a great way for me to get Rachel, Garf, or Janai, and like really just, you know, accelerate my account. So I am for this, but I just have to see if, if what, uh, what direction that actually is. Uh, next up is going to be the Core Raid Festa. So the Core Raid uh, Festa is going to be actually going into the game on this update. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to have that there. Now the Core Raid Pass here is different. This one is uh, specifically for the Core Raid Pass. It's not like the Exos Pass, but the difference thing here and which really worth the, uh, what is it, 27, 24, whatever dollars is this. And it's the Fake Core Hero Recruit Ticket. Now I'll say one thing is that this is obviously better. You get a, you spend 20 something dollars and you're going to get a Fake Core. Now, yes, there are some, you know, obviously you're probably going to have a higher chance to get a black. The blues are in there, which means that you might may get Yao out of it. There's only, what is it? Only two blues, which is going to be Yao and Baraka. There's definitely a decent amount of black and golds. Uh, obviously not that much chance of you getting a blue, but it's interesting because, you know, I would still take a Banga out of this if I were to get it. I would still take a First Guardian if I were to get it. I would still take an Awakening if I, like, really, really good. Or, you know, like I said, Black Gold, you can get uh, Garf, Ulu. Like, I do think that this is worth 20 something dollars. If you take in comparison to the other one, which is the, the currently in the shop, which is like 300 something dollars in order to pick a general, where technically you can spend 20 something dollars and have a chance at a general. So I really think that this is a lot better. How hard is it to complete this pass? We'll obviously have to see. It looks like uh, they may be teasing or this one might have a shorter turnaround and it's better the Exos pass. And I just watched FG's video and I would have to turn to agree that if this is the same price as the Exos pass, the Exos pass has to be made cheaper because why the fuck would you ever use the Exos pass ever? Yes, you get a uh, Holy Water, those of universes, but half the stuff in there, I don't know. I, I didn't feel inclined to buy this Exos pass. I don't know about you guys. Uh, next up is then they're going to do the core raids or whatever, and then they're going to do this. I, this is just weird to see. I feel like this should be something else. I don't feel like engaging into this. And outside of the fact of getting the the free Holy Wonders of the Universe for a small amount of Zez, I, I, I don't know. These just seem like kind of crap in my personal opinion. But usually I still do it because of the fact you get two Holy Wonders of the Universe if you go through it for, the, for Zez. And that's better than not, you know? So after that, they're also going to tell the hero battle is going to be Karen, blah, blah, blah. Most of it is, uh, you know, still wait and see. And of course, you guys, you're going to see a video from me checking out how the scouting works and then checking out how the core memory works, which I can only really do this one. And I hopefully have someone on my friends list that has a Degas. Yeah, I will do a couple of summons, but I, I'm not going to go hard in the paint for that because we about to go hard to paint right now. That wasn't too bad nine minutes well technically 10 minutes into the video and uh we went over that nice and quickly and now we're going to finally do our recruits i might even do um some equipment summons here because funny enough i don't actually have equipment for my battery and i also don't have any equipment for lepin <laughs> i have all these units that i'm getting but i actually haven't i need to summon uh faded equipment so they can actually do stuff but let's do these six summons here uh wish me luck i know uh some of you guys uh or I didn't have luck, but uh, sorry. Here's a fake core. Let me stop. <laughs> Here's a fake core. Rub it in your faces. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I wouldn't mind it though. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind it. Okay, okay. We good. We good. We good. Cool. I guess I feel a bit confident now. See now, um, I actually would throw all these dupes. This is a guy I have a plus five. I would actually normally throw this dupe in there, but now. With that scout system, I'm going to hold on to my legendaries for a little bit. It's going to mess up my expiration, which means I'm going to have... Uh, we'll see how it works. We'll see how what we have to do. Because I'm going to have to say, like, well, is it good to put in a door creation? Or should we just save these characters for... You know, should I just save the characters for something else? You know, for, for the scout system. But, like I said, it's going to be definitely a hard sell. Definitely a hard sell if we have to go with the fact that you have to have all of those in your inventory at that one time of actually using it. It's going to be really, 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 really difficult. Come on. Even, even he, even he now has purpose. Now when you get legendaries from this, like this is a really terrible pull, but now when you get legendaries from here, it really matters. It actually like holds weight. And for people that constantly keep asking, yes, you can pull on this banner and you will get your Zez back. 
it is in it, i'm starting to think i don't know if it's people can't read or that i mean that yes it's most of the people are in disbelief but bro if they were to mess up then you just that's it <laughs> honestly if they were to not do it how everyone's anticipating and having took the time to correct people at this point i think it would be in the grounds of just quitting the game i, I <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think that, that would just be on the grounds of everyone should just quit the game uninstall and, and Refund if you spend money all that good stuff. So like for me, it's like you have nothing to lose <laughs> Hey You are helpful. She's actually as you guys should know. She's like one of my favorite characters love Karen hope she gets an FC Down the road, but I also want new characters. I was talking to a lot of people I responded to my comments, you know, I'm definitely in the mood for some new characters not have fake cores and you not um but not have every character just be fake cores because if they're all just fake cores i just kind of feel like you know like i'm not getting anything new like yes it's cool that's the same character i know with one additional effect but i'm looking for I'm looking for more i'm really excited to see when that next chapter which is at the end of august so looks like they're slow rolling all the updates out okay okay i think this is a problem <gasps> Hi! She, I think, is the last legendary that I, like, I literally didn't have. I think I have all the legendaries now. We're gonna check that later. Lens, uh, you know, trash. And then, uh, oh yeah, she reduces block. She, you know, really unique character reducing block. Still a liability, but, uh, still pretty cool. Let's bring a fake core with you, you know? Why not? I want all these weird pulls. Everyone's like, I got this fake core. I got this one. I want them too. You know what it is? You know what it is? I'm not focusing my energy. Alright, let's focus. Ugh. Okay, that didn't work. See, I wasn't really focusing. I had my eyes open. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's focus for, th for this one. Alright, hold on. Oh, wait, wait. Put my mouse cursor where it needs to be. I'm not even opening my eyes. Wait, I need this. <laughs> okay, now I'm not opening my eyes. I'm gonna let the. I think it's like somewhere here. All right, skipping. Just gonna. All That's trash. A cup of tea after battle. Where is it? Okay, so it's here. It's here. Okay, and now I know where it is. Just we're gonna let it rock. Okay, let it rock. Focus your energy. Focus your chi. My chi sucks. I appreciate what you all have done. I'm sure. Hold on, let me. We're still in the boat. Wait. Oh, it's over. <laughs> okay, so it's like here, and then it's like here-ish. I think. Oh, and I got it. Wait, I don't have to skip it. Well, no, if I don't skip it, then uh, it's going to give me BS, right? So I think I think it's in the right spot. Got to focus my energy. Come on. Please. Okay. Gucci. That's one. I thought it was another battery. That would have been insane. I think that's the last bird that, that I need. I think. Maybe. I don't know. See? I, okay, so, you know, just do it again. You know, just... Focus the energy. Now I just realized I could have also went over. Okay, no. See, look, I actually, uh, I was just thinking this. I was like, what if I actually uh, bypass the um, the thing? So unfortunately, we didn't get anything additional. Kind of why I was like, I should have just did these summons when I felt like it. Uh, let's crack that um, thing. Who did we get in the bonus? Another burn. I feel like she's just very high rate from from the from those uh, fate mileage things. So there he goes. Our additional copy. Uh, let's just go do the. It shouldn't take me too long. I definitely need some things. I'm still gonna trigger you guys by uh, not going to the uh, thing. I know everyone's like you should just go and do the thing. Yeah, I know. Maybe at the end of the month. The weapon, you know why, is because the weapon is so not important because it doesn't give you guardian stones. It doesn't give you, like, okay, it gives you better stats, obviously, but it doesn't give you guardian stones. Oh, well, look at that. We just got the Glenn's hammer. Glenn's exclusive hammer. 
<laughs> Yo, Glenn is getting so much like love in this account. It's kind of stupid. All right, so here we go. Let's blow all this away. That is uh, double the pity right there. Hopefully we get some goodies here because this is this is where the importance lies. I'm, I'm hoping for a, a lot of hits here because um, Bathory needs some stuff. So I'm looking for it to be magical. Yes, there we go. Hopefully a lot of magic. I think most of the new characters that I've gotten are magic. So the more magic, the better. There goes physical. You know, what are you going to do? But uh, come on, looking for that magic symbol. Ah, physical. Who's benefiting off of that? I don't even know. Okay, come on. Physical again. They're teasing me. They're teasing me. Come on, I'm looking for that that diamond. Wow. The the the, the physical. You know, maybe it is is there a new physical guard kind of? There we go, some boots. There we go. Oh, we're still not oh yeah, that's the last one. So I think we got like what two magical things in there? I really don't want to what do we got? Yeah, let's throw that in there. It's on the first page. I've actually been getting a uh, faded every time I've done this lately. For like Oom and stuff like that. But of course not on video, because why would they ever do that? So now I can give, I can finally give uh, Bathory some stuff and then level her up. The problem is that she, they were, I had no faded gear unless I stripped another unit, which I really didn't want to do. So I didn't do it. Here it is. I think I got all the legendaries as well. I think we are... We have, yes, we have now officially have every single legendary in the game. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. And of, and of course, I hope you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself. And always remember that every day at the casino is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.